Hello and welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Carlos and today I will show you how to add and configure a pH probe on your Hydra's control. What is pH? Simply put, it is the measure of hydrogen ion concentration in the water. Maintaining pH in the optimal range and keeping it as stable as possible can help an aquarium thrive. We know that pH affects calcification process of corals. Higher pH accelerates the process and allows corals to draw calcium and alkalinity from the water to build a skeleton. On the other hand, if pH is low enough, the process reverses and the coral skeleton can dissolve back into essential elements, which technically is what happens inside a calcium reactor. Some folks may argue that corals can thrive at higher pH, but the reality is that fish might not. So 8 to 8.3 is a nice compromise that keeps inhabitants happy. pH in aquaria is never static. pH swings depending on the time of the day, gas exchange, and the levels of CO2 in the surrounding area. Daily pH swings between 7.8 and 8.5 are common and should not be a cause for concern. However, if your pH repeatedly falls outside the range, then the hydros controller will immediately let you know so you can take the necessary steps to correct it. Adding a pH probe to the hydros control is straightforward. Attach the pH probe to a hydros control that comes equipped with a B and C port. Make your way to the status screen on the app. Tap on the three horizontal dots to the right of the word input and select add new input. Tap on the plus symbol on the bottom right. Type a name and then tap on create. Under type, select probe port. Under probe mode, select pH. Under probe port, select the sense port number where you attach the pH probe. In our case, we connected it to probe port 1. Next, you will find the low and the high save range. In case your pH deviates outside this range, the controller can immediately send you an alert. Let's set the safe range low to 7.8 and the safe range high to 8.5. Temperature input allows you to provide the controller with a temperature number to adjust the pH reading because pH is directly dependent on temperature. The higher the temperature, the lower the pH value. It does not mean that the water is more acidic. It simply means that the water has a higher ability to ionize and form hydrogen ions. Finally, we set our notification level, which tells the controller what to do when the pH moves outside the safe range. All that is left to do is tap on the yellow band at the bottom to upload the changes. Now, let's calibrate the pH probe. For this, you will need calibration fluids. We recommend calibrating all three levels for best performance. First, calibrate at pH 7. Take the probe, carefully rinse the tip with RODI water, and then pat it dry. Then insert the probe into the 7.01 solution. The app will show various millivolt readings. Wait until the reading stabilizes. We recommend at least two minutes to ensure complete stabilization and then tap on accept. The closer the reading gets to zero, the more accurate the probe is and the less calibration it needs. When done, rinse the pH probe with RODI water and pat it dry. Then insert the probe into the 10.01 solution and repeat the calibration process. The closer the reading gets to 100, the more accurate the probe is and the less calibration it needs. Repeat the process one last time to calibrate the probe to the 4.01 solution. All that is left to do is tap on the yellow band at the bottom to upload the changes. Well, that is our video for today. If you would like to learn more about the Hydros controller, and the Hydros app, including other available features, please head on over to CoralViewHydros.com. If you have any questions about any of the products on this video, visit our support portal at support.CoralView.com. Our friendly reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products. See you next time.